welcome to my video in this video i am going to solve 2020 question paper which they asked in dlf central exam Mikhailia. there are 50 questions each question carries one max question number one the right of person with disability x has been enacted in which year the right it was enacted in 2016. Option D is correct answer. Question number two. The right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 ensure the right of children with disability to free education from six year to 14 year. Option, option C is correct. Six year to 14 year. Question number three, providing critical learning material in accessible formats to the diverse learners implies universal humanistic approach of teaching. Option C is correct. Question number four, when children think to interpret the received information according to their experiences, it is called concrete thinking. Option D is correct. A teacher is teaching children by demonstration of a task to correct the performance of an already learned task. He is using method of teaching. Modeling method of teaching. Option D is correct. Question number 6. 10 years ago, X was half of Y's age. If the ratio of their present age is 3 is to 4, what will be the total of their present age? This one I already solved in the previous video. And the correct answer is option C35. I have the explanation in the previous video. For question 7, option C is correct too. And for question number 8, option D is correct, 50. I already solved this question in the previous video, so if you want explanation, check my previous video. Question number 9, uh, question number 9 actually, the option is not in the, the correct answer is not in this option, okay? Only if they ask about percent age of Kate then only the answer will be 24 I already give this explanation in my previous video a father said to his son I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth if the father's age is at eight years now what was the son's age five years back this one also I already explained in previous video the current answer is option C grammar should be taught by enabling practice in context for question number 11 Option B is correct. Question number 12. There are 44 sounds in English. Out of these, how many sounds are vowel and how many are consonant respectively? There are 22 sounds for consonant and 24 sounds. There are 20, 20, 20 sounds for vowel and 24 sounds for consonant. So option A is correct. Question 13. The study of words and their meaning is known as semantics. Option A is correct. It is also known as symbology or semiotic. So if this option, if this is, if this word are in the option, so this word also is correct. Okay. Question fourteen. Etymology is, it is a science of knowing the origin of words. So option D is correct for question fourteen. Question number fifteen. A word gets its meaning from its origin. Option D is correct. Question number 16. A good paragraph writing in English involves ideas, presentation, and coherence. Option B is correct. Question 17. The common element which is present in both carbohydrate and protein is carbon. So, option Option D is correct. Carbon. Question number 18. There is a species A of plant that grow in huge number but is found only in B part of India in the whole world. Which type of species is it? It is called endemic species. Question 19. Which of the following is not a component of 5 ES? There are 5 components of ES that is engaging, exploration, and then explanation. Extend and evaluation. These are five. Okay, this is number one, and then these are number two. These are number three, 
these are number four and this is number five so these five are the component of five es so the correct answer here is estimate option c because they were asking which is not a component okay so option c is correct all this option a b and d are the component only c is not the component question number 20 which are the following tools will be appropriate for assessing social personal qualities of children engaged in learning evs through group work or a question question 21 who was the writer of the book raja tarangini option b is correct kalhan question 22 the current the working principle of washing machine is it is based on centrif centrifugation for centrifugation so option a is correct Question 23. Optical fiber works on the principle of total internal reflection. Option A is correct. Question 23. Question 24. Cryogenic engines find applications in rockets technology. Question 25. The cloud floats in the atmosphere because of its low density. Option D is correct. Question 26. An air bubble in the water will act as a concave lens. And cave lens is, is a diverging lens, so it will be D. Question 27. Children acquire gender roles through all of the following except through tutoring. So option C is correct. Question 28. One of the four one of the critics of standardized tests has been that they represent largely the mainstream culture and are therefore biased bias. So option D is correct. Question 29. The theory of multiple intelligence says that intelligence can be of several kind. Intelligence can be of very, very of several kind. So option A is correct. Question 30. Teacher can utilize both assessment for learning and assessment of learning in order to to know children's progress and achievement level option d is correct for question number 30 question 31 which of the following is not related to continuous and comprehensive evaluation it is useful to label children as low poor or intelligent option c is correct question 32 children coming from socioeconomically disadvantaged backgrounds need a classroom environment which is which value its uses their cultural and linguistic knowledge Option A is correct. Question 33. Pattern of divergent thinking identify children who are creative. Option B is correct. Question 34. Which one of the following does not describe the ways in which a teacher can model problem solving for children in the classroom? Asking question which converge answer. Option C is correct. Question 35. A three years old child explains that milk is produced by a machine at the milk group. Which one of the following offers the best explanation of the child's understanding? The children's the child's answer is based on his or her experience of buying milk from the milk boot. Option A is correct. Question 36. Which one of the following classrooms encourages rich learning? A classroom with open activity corners and a variety of children's literature in open self accessible any time of the day. Option A is correct for 36. 37. Which one of the following best describe the role of a textbook in the classroom? Question 37. Option C is correct. They form the most essential learning resource in a resource staff contact. For question 37, option C is correct. Question 38. National Curriculum Framework 2005 derived its understanding from Constructivism. Option B is correct. Question 39. Which of the following questions invite children to think critically? What are the different ways in which we can solve this? Option C is correct. Question 40. Which one of the following option best describe progressive education? Learning by doing, project method, cooperative learning. Option D is correct. Question 41. An androgynous personality has a balance of what are generally considered masculine and feminine traits. Option A is correct for question 41. Question 42. 
If you join a teacher fraternity and choose to dress like most of the others in your group, you are exhibiting conformity. Option D is correct. Question 43. The concept of intelligent quotient or IQ was developed by Stern in 1912. Option C is correct. Question 44. Creativity is thought to be related to the concept of diverger, divergent thinking. Option D is correct. Question 45. The acceptable sound combinations of a language are specified in its phonological rules. Option A is correct. Question 46. A technician repairs appliance by testing the hypothesis about a cause of the malfunction based on his experiences with symptoms. He used heuristics. Question D. Option D is correct. Question 47. Society determines the roles male and female. The statement articulates it articulates gender as a social construct. Option D is correct. Question 48. Grading, coding, marking, and credit accumulation systems are some of the examples of scoring procedure of assessment of learners' achievement. Option D is correct. Question 49. Assessment of learners' achievement helps the teacher to evaluate the effectiveness of pedagogy. Option B is correct. Inclusive education is based on the principle of equity and equal opportunities. Option B is correct. So with this, I already solved 50 questions of DLS entrance exam question paper which came in 2020. So if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and thank you.